One of the men who was detained um, during this alleged coup, sir, is Bassam Awadala, a former government insider and current advisor to Saudi Arabia. The Saudi foreign minister vi visited Amman recently, and there were reports that he was requesting from the Jordanians to free Awadala. Is that true? Uh, first of all, I, I, I don't know what went on, but I can assure you that the Saudi delegation came to Jordan as a show of support to Jordan, not as to get someone out of detention. That is most definitely. This is number one. Number two, there were on the, on the net and all that, that uh, Mr. Awadallah left to Saudi Arabia. That's what people say. There was a statement by the government uh, early evening yesterday saying that Basil Awadallah is still detained. And these days, uh, madam, you really cannot hide mm. if someone left the country or, or, or stayed in the country. It's, we're, we're a global village now. I mean, and, and I really trust very much the, 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 the communique that went by the government, by, by, by the sure. institution. So, what of suggestions of foreign entities' involvement in this alleged coup? Well, according to the information I have that correct, there was a foreign element or, or, or foreign elements in that. And I am sure that uh, uh, soon we will get to know more about it in details. Will it be published? I have, I really have. No Can you idea. be more explicit on the information that you have to date? No, the, the, what my information as that there were certain foreign elements wanted to exploit the poverty, the unemployment uh, that is in Jordan and all what COVID has also, uh, mm. you know, came on us and, 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 and crippled the economy, so to speak, and with the lockdowns also crippled the movement of the people. So people now are staying on the necks and, mm. and, 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 and on the social media. So it's, it's more environment, okay. right environment for such a thing. But when I point to, to, to a nation by, by name and say this state or the state, no, I don't have any information to be honest. So you don't, so you can't be any more explicit about what or who are these foreign entities? I assure, I assure you, I fear, I fear nothing. I fear nobody. If I had a name, I would definitely take it. Hmm. I'm, a, I'm a proud Jordanian. Hussein Majali is a Jordanian senator, a retired army general and former interior minister. He was also the commander of the Royal Guards at the time of the late King Hussein. And uh, thank you, sir, for joining us. I trust you are well. Uh, everything is superb. Thank you so much, madam. Oh, we're all well. We're all... Uh... Uh, one hand, one voice behind His Majesty the King and uh, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. You have extensive experience in Jordanian politics and society. I would just like to start by getting your comments on the recent events in your country with regard Prince Hamza. Not much information has been provided surrounding this alleged coup. What can you tell us and where does the investigation stand at present? Well, uh, you look at it uh, in, in, in two separate tracks. The first track that what is concerning His Royal Highness Prince Hamza is dealt with within the confines of the palace. It is a family issue. This is a royal family issue that is dealt among the confines within the walls of the court. And we as Jordanians believe that this is how it should be. So this is one track. The second track is taking the legal track with the people who have been detained. And not all the people who have been detained are guilty. They have been interrogated. And then uh, the prosecutor general sees whoever is, uh, th there are certain uh, suspicions of involvement in anything will be 
uh, transfer to the court of law to to uh, to be dealt with. Uh, and uh, Becky, you've been covering the Middle East for a very long time, and you reside in the Middle East. Uh, as I always say, without naming countries, but in certain countries, if this matter uh, erupted, it will be dealt by blood. It will not be dealt through the constitutional uh, institutions in the nation. 